Open Review New Vapor Forum all over the internet. Got a quick review I wanted to pump out there today. Today I wanted to take a look at 306 atomizers. So I've got my silver bullet here. Uh, just rocking one 18650 so I can run these at 3.7 volts as they are low resistance atomizers. And today we're going to look at two different 306 atomizers. We're going to look at just your average run of the mill 306 low resistance atomizer. Then we're also going to take a look at the Cisco low resistance 306 atomizer. So this one right here that just has the standard silicone ring, that's the regular low resistance 306 atomizer. This one here, that, let me get it so you can see it, has the black silicone ring. That is the Cisco style low resistance 306 atomizer. That's not um, any real way to tell them apart. If you had a whole mixed bag of them, that probably wouldn't guarantee it. But the ones that I have, that's the easiest way for me to tell them apart. So we're going to start and we're going to first look at your average run of the mill low resistance 306 atomizer on the silver bullet. Uh, you doing this, I'm going to use peanut butter cookie from Miss T's Bakery. So let me just toss a fresh drop in here as I've been whipping these around and puffing on them and leading to the culmination of my thoughts for you guys. So let's take a look here first at your regular, just you know, average run of the mill low resistance 306 atomizer. Vapes really nicely, um, pretty decent flavor, and you know, pretty pretty good throat hit. Uh, I feel like the 306 low resistance atomizers do give you a better throat hit than your 510s. So this is a pretty good experience overall. Um, the flavor I find to be not quite as good on the lay, the standard run of the mill low resistance 306 as it is on say an East Mall 510 low resistance atomizer. So let's take a look here and see how the Cisco low resistance 306 stacks up. So you can see I've got my average run of the mill one off to the side here in favor of the Cisco style. More vapor, more flavor I get from this one and a bit more throat hit as well. Um, I will say that the Cisco style low resistance 306 atomizers are the closest thing that I've had to, where is it, I can't even find it. Um, I'm liking these so much that a lot of the time I'll just carry this around with me instead of my 5 volt GLV2. So really got something sweet going with these Cisco style low resistance 306s. Let's talk a little bit about why. Now when I meter out the standard 306 um, low resistance atomizer that I picked up, it meters out at about 1.5 ohms of resistance to 1.6. I've got a couple different ones and um, you know most of them are 1.6. This one happens to be a little bit closer to 1.5. It'll kind of waver a little bit on my meter. The Cisco low resistance 306s that I have meter out at 1.3 on the nose. Exactly 1.3 ohms of resistance. So slightly lower resistance here which of course is going to lead to some of that warmer vape. It's also giving me better flavor. Um, from juice to juice, so it doesn't matter really what juice it is, I get better flavor on the Cisco style low resistance 306 atomizers. Uh, you get more vapor because it's going to go, um, you know, burn hotter being that it's a lower resistance and you're going to get more throat hit as well. The Cisco style low resistance 306 atomizer is the closest low resistance experience I've found to a true 5 volt vape. So because of that I'm really liking it. Um, you can't drip quite as many drops of juice in here as you can in, <clears throat> excuse me, say a 510. In a 510, depending on the dropper size, you get four to six. Um, on the 306, you're looking at three to four. Max four, more than that, probably gonna leak out the bottom on the vent holes of the atomizer. And depending on the drip tip that you have, this one came from imagineesig.com. Uh, you know, it may leak out around the sides. Now this one doesn't leak out around the sides. If it is gonna leak, it's gonna come right out the bottom in those little air vent holes there around the, the threading. So overall, I really do like the Cisco low resistance 306 atomizer. In fact, I haven't touched a low resistance 510 since I got this. Um, I had kind of gone back and forth quite a bit. I still prefer the East Mall low resistance 510 to your regular run of the mill low resistance 306, but 
Overall, I really dig the Cisco style low resistance 306 atomizer. Warmer, more flavor, more vapor, more throat hit. You can't ask for a better combination than that. I picked mine up, excuse me, from createvapor.com. I'll throw a link down in the captions um, and comments there. I picked them up um, pretty cheap because it's a local vendor for me, so I was able to escape the shipping. But I think they were going for $8.99. I can't recall. I'll put the price down there too, just because I can't remember. But head on over to Create Vapor and you can pick some up. Um, I got him super fast because I live in Minneapolis and he's just over in St. Paul, so it was a pretty quick transaction for me. But I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I'm really excited. Um, closing in on six months cigarette free. Never thought I would reach a point in my life where I could say that I'd gone six months without a cigarette. So to treat myself, I went ahead and ordered a wet box. So I'm really excited to try the Cisco style low resistance 306 on the wet box and see how she vapes. But uh, to give you a rundown in terms of low resistance atomizer preference, it's going to go 306 low resistance, East Mall 510 low resistance, and then Cisco 306 low resistance, if it's just those three that we're talking about. So this is my favorite low resistance atomizer thus far. Um, the various ones that I've tried, you know, Heaven's Gifts, East Mall, SLB, Joy, all those. This is the next best atomizer out there. I mean, well, not next best. I mean, it's the best low resistance atomizer out there. But I think this is the next big thing in the world of vaping are going to be these Cisco low resistance atomizers. Um, another quick note here, too. One thing that I've noticed, and I, I can't really get a picture of it because every time I try, uh, my camera will fuzz out and refocus. But the coil here uh, on the regular low resistance 306 atomizer, the coil seems pretty, pretty spaced and uh, not spaced very evenly. On the 306 Cisco style low resistance, it's nice and tight. So, you know, you can't see any gaps when the coil heats up and gets red. And that might um, be something that's helping it vape so well and putting out that much more vapor and that much more flavor. Not entirely positive. All I can tell you is that in terms of my experience and metering it out and just putting them head to head, this 306 low resistance Cisco atomizer that I picked up from createvapor.com is king. I am Basil Ray. I will see you guys somewhere around the internet. PM me, leave comments, get a hold of me. If you've ever got questions, you need suggestions, any of that kind of business, feel free to hit me up. I'm going to be making a trip to Chicago very soon. So if you're out in Chicago and you want to hook up, I'm going to be out there later in the month. Definitely get a hold of me. Would love to meet some vapors from the Midwest.